if you enjoy these videos, a uh, super special thank you to these individuals right here. They're the ones who make this responsible. Uh, they are the ones who are responsible for these videos. If you are watching, would like to consider joining my Patreon just to sort of help combat YouTube's uh, delisting of my videos, check out the link down below in the description. It's uh, patreon.com slash your hunts reviews. Long night! In this video, I want to discuss uh, one of the most crazy, insane leaked scenes for the first season of House of the Dragon. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, slap the like on them. Like goal's gonna be 420. <laughs> Now, I'll just quickly run through the information that was sent to me through the DMs over on Twitter. Speaking of which, make sure you go follow me at Sir underscore Hunts or at Dragon Daddy. Uh, but this person mentions that the first time we see Vagar is in episode one. And the episode starts with Lena's death and then a flashback to when she wed Damon. Um, and then they also said that the episode ends with Aemon claiming Vagar. They mention that Kid Aemon is only seen once after the episode in which he claims Vagar. Uh, the Luke actor gets poop in his mouth by accident, and that is actually left in the scene. Uh, Vagar's roar is a combination of Viserion, Rhaegal, and Drogon. I thought that was pretty interesting for the main fact that um, Vagar herself is supposed to be larger than both of them. Like, like in canon... Drogon is nowhere near as big enough, or nowhere near as big as he was on the Game of Thrones TV show. Uh, mainly because he's, like, stopped growing because we haven't gotten Winds of Winter yet. So he's just barely big enough to lift Daenerys up out of the pits of Daznak and fly her to his version of Dragonstone. It's basically Drogon's lair. It's a pile of rocks, a spire or something that Daenerys imagines uh, Dragonstone would look like, mainly because she's never seen it before, but she was born there. So just to reiterate, this person mentions that Vagar's roar is going to be the combination of Drogon, Viserion, and Rhaegal. Now they also mention that the scene, the scene of Aemon claiming Vagar, was one of the most expensive ones to film. Now, for those who are curious, if you're unaware, the way this actually goes down in the books is that at Lena's funeral at Driftmark or High Tide, can't exactly remember which House Valerion seat it happens at, but basically uh, High Tide is built by Corliss after Driftmark to uh, better basically show you how much of a comeuppance House Valerion has had. So uh, Corliss the Sea Snake, he's nicknamed the Sea Snake after his most powerful uh, ship in his fleet, right? So he's made nine famous voyages, and in one of them, he actually doubled the wealth of House Valerion in a single trip. So he has high tide being built, but basically Lena dies, and at the time, Damon is married to her. Now, I've actually mentioned this a little bit in more detail in yesterday's video. Check the link down below in the description. But, King Viserys sort of rags his son on a little bit by saying, Aemon, I can't believe you haven't had a dragon yet. Don't worry, after we finish up here at Lena's funeral, we're going to go up to Dragonstone, and maybe you can get a dragon egg there, or a little hatchling for you. Now, obviously, Aemon is sort of slighted by this, like most little boys are when their father's, you know, ragging shit to him. So, he decides he's going to claim Vagar. Now, obviously, his father, uh, his mother might approve it, Queen Alicent, but his father and Rhaenyra and Daemon, right? So his, his uncle and his half-sister would never approve of him taking Vagar, mainly because her former rider just died. But his parents, Queen Alicent and King Viserys, probably wouldn't have let him do it either, I don't know I'm backtracking my words, because Vagar is the most ferocious dragon at the time. So... One thing's for certain, and it's that Aemon does not lack courage. So he waits till everyone's asleep, and he sneaks out and goes and claims Vagar. Vagar lets out a roar, and Aemon circles around with him a few times before ultimately landing back down in the yard and being caught by Lucerus.
Or actually, it's Joffrey who catches him. But either way, he signals to his other bros, and uh, they try to roll on him. Eamon, obviously being older and bigger, gets the better hand and just starts laying waste to him. So uh, he's pummeling them to the ground, and Lucerus wrenches free his knife and slashes Eamon's eye. And from that moment forward, Eamon is known as Eamon One-Eye. Obviously, Alicent wants... Uh, <laughs> Lucerus to lose his eye as payment for taking Prince Aemon's eye, and King Viserys is like, I'll hear none of that. Um, but from what we see in the teaser, it looks as though it actually happens with King Viserys' knife. So that's going to be crazy. If you all enjoyed this video, please do me a massive favor and slap a like on it. Like gold's going to be 420. <laughs> no, not.